last year when Charles Lee got up on stage at the LME seminar and then spoke later at the LME dinner, he signalled that he owned both the LME's problems and its future. To turn to the future first of all, the promise of boosting volumes and launching new contracts, monthly futures, Remnimbi contracts, aluminium premium pricing even, still holds. And so too does the possibility of extending the LME's franchise by creating a class of membership that has been dubbed Category 8. The creation of a Category 8 membership is based on the hypothesis that there may be companies out there that would trade the market but will not do so under the current membership structure. For the moment, LME brokers do not have a clear idea of how the possible Category 8 membership would work. But Metal Bulletin understands that it would only be created if in doing so it did not put current members at a disadvantage in terms of capital requirements or regulatory costs. In addition, the Category 8s would have to bring new volumes to the market. They couldn't simply allow current volumes to access the LME through a new route. Volumes on the LME are still rising, let's remember, up 9% year on year in 2012. And what about the problems? There's no disguising the fact that as the market prepares for LME Week 2013, the exchange is going through a tough period. It is beset on one side by lawsuits and aggrieved consumers who have a mighty lobby in the United States of America who are calling into question the legitimacy of the LME's pricing. That's the basis for the success of the whole business and one on which HKEX CEO Charles Lee is depending to extend his franchise into China. The aluminium producers themselves, who are beneficiaries of the LME's warehousing system at the moment, have piled in from the other side rejecting the Hong Kong Exchange's new proposals and calling instead for more transparency and regional contracts. European Steelmakers Association Eurofair, whose members buy large volumes of LME price zinc and nickel, added its voice to the objections on October the 3rd. The market recognises how extensive the consultation was on warehousing, as Metal Bulletin Special Correspondent Andrea Hotter has written this week, and it's waiting to see how Charles Lee and Gary Jones realise the opportunities and tackle these challenges. They will be on stage together at the LME seminar on Monday, October the 7th. Many people will also be intrigued to learn that Harriet Hunnable, who is the MD of the Metals Group at CME, will be on stage at a Bloomberg event on Wednesday. Her topic? A look at the changing role of commodity exchanges, the shift to China, and the dilemma of warehouses. As Lee and Jones are all too aware, the LME's problems represent an opportunity for its rivals. But whether they can grasp it in an area where the LME is an institution remains to be seen.